let's close that out. Now I want to show you one more thing about how to how this sphere can be used to create um, that can be used in a, in a real example. So let's draw a little house. Um, I'm going to draw a well, let's, let's stick with this red color. Um, I'm actually going to desaturate it a little bit because it's going to be near this purple color. So I'm going to draw the outline for this house. Um, let's do a square. I guess I got the brush. Yeah, I want to go with my pencil tool at first. Okay. See, and I'm making my kind of art in a sort of a pixel arty style because that's, that's just what I do. So one trick when you're making pixel art is that you want to always um, use this pencil tool because the pencil tool, and you want to use it in the pencil mode. No, wait. Yeah, you want to use the pencil tool because that, um, oh man. The pencil tool gives you full opacity and it doesn't do any kind of anti-aliasing. And um, a couple little tricks, you want your uh, eraser tool to always be in pencil mode so that it erases, like this is the eraser tool in, in pencil mode. It does a full opacity erase. If you go into a brush mode, it's going to use sort of like a softer erase and you're not going to be pixel art anymore. So use that. And also when you're, um, another trick to pixel art is that when you're readjusting the size of things, you want to use an interpolation of nearest neighbor. So like watch this, if I use bicubic and I want to resize this down to that big and I click OK, boom, it adds this anti this aliasing to the, anti-aliasing to the edges. So we don't want that. So if I go and I readjust this, I will make it that size, and then I use nearest neighbor, boom, no problems with the anti-aliasing. So let's um, let's finish making this um, this square. We'll put this um, the brush back into uh, the eraser back into pencil mode. I'm just going to erase all this. And here's a simple way to make a square: just select a square or a rectangle or whatever. And um, yeah, I'm going to draw it in. Bang. That was quick. And I'm going to use a slightly different hue or value, let's say, to draw a triangular top. And I'm going to go. No, I don't, don't want to use this tool. OK, I want to just use the eraser to show you how to you can kind of draw. This isn't going to be perfect, but there's sort of a good top. I wouldn't call it good, but <laughs> it's the top of a, a house. Okay, this is our our lumpy theoretical house, um, and I'm going to use a different hue again for this side of the house right here. I'm not taking time to make this all perfect because this is just a mini series and um, it's really just meant to give you the basics of how this all works. So I'm using different hues for each one of these things so we can easily fill the color later. Like this, if I just want to fill all that, there. And let's make one more wall. Let's draw like you know about like that about like this oh that's another trick to pixel art is when you're drawing a line and then you hold and you hold down shift it does a perfectly straight line wait why didn't it do it maybe I'm wrong about that oh I have my left shift key disabled on my computer because I had tendonitis for a while uh, yeah there if you hold down shift you can draw perfectly straight lines no matter where your cursor is so that's a cool a little trick to use when you want to just do a little straight line. 